I'm so excited you're here. It's time for Learn One Thing. Learn One Thing! What we're going to be showing you today is how to create a screen recording of your scratch weather map for your very own weather forecast video. So you can program the weather that's going to show up in the back of your video and then you can record a voiceover with it. But to turn this computer program into a video, what you're going to need to do is make a screen recording of it playing. You already have a screen recording tool on your Mac. It's a program called QuickTime. So we're going to open that. I'm going to use Command Space and I'm going to type QuickTime and you see QuickTime Player appear. I'm going to click on that. Once it launches, we're going to say File, New Screen Recording. That new screen recording button pops up here. You want to make sure your microphone's on. You're going to click Record. Click to record full screen, drag to record part of the screen. I always record the full screen. I just click it. And then you can see up here it's recording. I'm going to go over here. Go full screen on my weather video. And I'm going to record that. Doing all of the things that I programmed it to do. And then when it's done, I can hit stop. I can go up to my screen recording and go back to QuickTime. I can tell it to stop. It's going to show me my screen recording there. I want to file save. And I'm going to call that weather recording. And now you'll see when I go to iMovie, I'm going to create new. Movie. Um, let's see. My media, we're going to import media. And then I just have to figure out where it saved that last one to. It may have saved it to... Oh, it saved it, apparently. So I reopened QuickTime Player. It saved it where I last saved things, which was in Grace for President. It's not helpful to me, but I can drag it right down here. And now I've got it into my iMovie. And you can see that I can edit this. I can crop it. And I'm going to record that doing all of the things that I programmed it to do. And we can get rid of this audio, get that all the way down. So then you've got it in iMovie. And once it's in iMovie, you can add titles, you can add audio, you can manipulate it further. So good luck.